So today I'm going to teach you how to create Pixel and Facebook Ads Manager. So the first thing first, what we're going to do is go to business.facebook.com. Once you're on this page, you have to, the next thing you have to do is scroll down and scroll to all tools right here. So once you're on all tools, you click on Ads Manager. So once you click on Ads Manager, it's going to bring you to this page right here. This is my Ads Manager page. Okay. So, so once you're on this page, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Data Sources. All right. So once you're on this page, you're going to go to Data Sources. So on Data Sources, we can see right here it says Pixel. We click on Pixel view data view data search all right dog color since we don't have a data set yet so that that's the first reason why we can't create a pixel yet so what you need to do is add a data set name of data set um let's go with parts risk we create all right so now we've created a data set so we have here choose how to connect your website uh, the first thing facebook recommends is meta pixels and conversion api so this is the one you want to go with then you click on next manual implement api user integrated user partner integration install code manually that means you can install the code manually if you can do it yourself but mostly you give this stuff to developers so we're gonna go with check for partners all right wait whichever partner you are working with either shopify wordpress zapier then you click on it um uh, i use shopify mostly for my stores so we'll go with shopify All right. So what you need to do is go to your Shopify store. So the next thing we're going to do to connect our pixels to our, uh, to our Facebook, we're, we're going to go to Shopify. So make sure you've created your Shopify already. And it says here, install the Facebook and Instagram sales channel from your Shopify store visit the admin panel and make sure you have the facebook and instagram sales channel installed so what this means is you just have to go to your shopify store or whatever store you're using and search for facebook and instagram sales channel so once you do that you just have to install it on your store so if you're using shopify we're gonna go to since i'm making this video based on shopify we're gonna go to shopify store all right so we are on our shopify store and it says here set up facebook ads and instagram so what you need to do next is connect account when so you're going to connect your facebook account catch from account allow all right so once you've connected your account it's going to ask you to connect if you have catalog of your product, connect the business portfolio that owns it. So we're going to connect our business page that we our business page that we've created on Facebook. Click on connect. So once you're done. All right, right here, it just says hands. You don't have to touch anything right here. Just click on save. All right, so this is our pixel this is okay so it says so it says connect a pixel to track customer behavior so this is our page on facebook we're going to connect our page on okay all right so you can the terms and condition you can read the terms and condition if you like but it's not necessary click and then submit for review all right so 
we're done with that our facebook and instagram has been added so what we need to do next is preview add proposal okay all right so it says you've received an ad proposal dot color add to ads manager so once you add to ads manager campaign setup new save setup click on continue All right, so to know if our pixel has been set up, what we have to do is go to event manager. Okay, and we're gonna go to data sources. So to verify that our pixel has been added to our Shopify and has been connected to our Facebook. So we're going to go down to pixels. So it says here, dark color pixels as a new location. That means our pixels has been created. So where did our, where did it move our pixel to? We've made some changes to our platform. We can now find these assets in the data sources menu under data sets so view data sets we yeah. are so now we can see that our uh, pixel has been connected to our shopify so this is the simplest way to create a pixel and connect it to your store or to your website or whatever so if you have a developer, if you're trying to connect your pixel to your website, so you're going to have to, all you're going to have to do is give the, uh, your Facebook or whatever to your developer and let them connect the pixels for you. So it's the easiest way if you're like trying to connect your website, but if you think you can do it yourself, this is the way, this is how you're going to go about it. So if you gain something from this tutorial make sure to leave a like and comment in the section if you um need help leave a comment in the section and i'll get back to you as soon as possible